Hi, Warriors. Welcome to Keon Plays. Sammy Right Love Bow Party. Let's continue with Yuki Mars on the story. Anyways, let's continue on the story mission. We passed it. I got a yawn. Oh, good job. Good job, me, for passing it. I hate that when it happens. I click on it, but it don't go. I hate that. Click on it. Okay, episode 10, Bad Omen. After closing the restaurant for the night, I seek out Lord Yukimura after making tea. Oh, there he is. I am gripped by an unexpected happiness to see him out on the porch. Lord Yukimura is now in my childhood home. To think something so simple would make me so happy. I quietly approach him. Lord Yukimura, I made some tea. Oh, thanks. You must be tired, too. I'm fine. Have some. I sit down next to him, deli, whatever, balancing the tray with two cups on it. You've, what have you been doing? Nothing, really. This house makes me feel so calm. I've been just been relaxing. That's great. The sitters have started to chirp from the trees nearby. Lord Yukimura takes a sip of tea while trying to work the stiffness from his shoulders. Is your shoulder hurting? It doesn't hurt anymore. I just used muscle that you don't use when fighting, so my body is in shock. Are restaurants this busy all the time? Oh yes, I would say so. I see. That must be tough. Today is the first day I have ever actually given a meal to another. Huh? Hearing that from him suddenly makes me want to know more. Did you enjoy it? Was it more tiring than fighting? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. And we were together. What does that have to do with anything? You really enjoy yourself when you're working. So I felt the same way. Lord Yukimura, thank you again for helping me out. I couldn't have done it without you. No, I should thank you. Thanks to today, I know just how much this place means to you. He falls into a thoughtful silence, his profile illuminated by the moonlight. All I could do is wait for him to speak again. That is so sweet. That is sweet. Me and Yukimura are having a bonding moment. We're having a good bonding moment. Don't judge. Ba 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 <laughs> Don't ever do that again. Don't do that again. Keon. By the way, he says my name. I know that what he says is going to be important. So I couldn't ignore the fact that my own answer was tainted with nervousness. Yes? You should stay here. What? My heart had a thrill at the sound of his voice saying my name, but now it was frozen solid. If I stay in Kyoto, it means he will surely be going on without me. When I'm unable to look at at him or reply, Lord Yukimura quietly explains things to me. We were able to scatter the Tokugawa army at the Battle of Maku Makatagahara 
and you're no longer under suspicion. Really? Yeah. We're going to be up against the Oda clan to determine who will take control and I thought I um, mean and I doubt Tokugawa's out yet. If I have to keep going to war, I want to know that you are somewhere hidden safe. I'm sure that he must have a clear picture of what will happen in his life from here on out. And in that picture, drawn in the world of men, the disappearance of a single woman in, would mean nothing at all. He may feel that way, but I... I stare at the floor, pressing my lips together. I know he just wants me to stay here because that would mean I was finally out of danger. That's why I can't say anything. But at the same time, you want to marry him. You want to marry him. Anyways, that's how it should be. You love him. You love him. Admit it. Admit it. Admit it. Say that you love him. <sighs> when he stands up to leave, I grasp his sleeve tightly. Wait. Keon? I desperately tighten my hold on his sleeve, looking up at him as he looks over his shoulders at me. Seeing the girls flirting with him in the restaurant, that was what made me realize my own feelings for him. I just want to be with him. But would saying that make him feel like I'm even more in the way? I confess to my feeling, I mean, I confess to myself what I can't say to him. What are you doing, Sizo? Sizo. The next thing I know, he is there, silently descending from the rafter. Ah. Panicked, I look I let go of Euphemore's sleeve. But for once Sizo does not seem to be in the mood to take a stab at our relationship. Lord Shigen has taken to his bed. He what? Lord Shigen. I remember Lord Shigen's lack of appetite. I also overheard the vassals talking about him being unwell. But even when then, I didn't think he was still ill, that he would be bedridden. I stare at Lord Yukimura, who is just... As shocked as I am, I do not have a good feeling about this. And his army? They have gone to Makawa according to plan. The Oda and Tokugawa armies might strike when they reach Nakashino. Understood. I shall join them immediately. I scramble to my feet chasing after Lord Yukimura as he starts to follow Saizo. Lord Yukimura. Just say it. Why won't you say it? Oh my freaking God. Just say. Say I love you. I love you. It's not that hard. It's not hard. <sighs> it's not hard. Just say it. It's just three words. I pull my hairpin from my hair and press it des desperately into his hand. What's this for? To keep you safe and to remind you of the promise that binds us. What promise? My promise to remain at the Yuta Castle until you return. To pray for your victory and to believe in you. I tell him almost everything that is in my heart, not even daring to blink. So please, you have to come back. You have to. I know that this is not the time to confess my love, to tell him I want to spend my life with him. But I cannot stand the thought of death 
tearing us apart before we even have the chance. He takes the hairpin, closing it in his fist. Then he grins, though just slightly. All right, it's a promise. It is. When I return, you won't be the only one with a lot to say. Before he finally walks away, he takes my hand in his tenderly one last time. They depart for Nakashino before dawn. The next day. All right, I'm off. Leave mom to me. You go do everything you can for the Sana brothers, all right? Right. Thank you, Yahiko. Kian, everything will be all right. Just trust in Lord Yukimura and I'm sure it will be. It will be. Thank you, mother. I will. I will personally see Kion back to the castle and take her responsibility for her safety. We'll keep her out of danger, so don't worry. Please do. Well, be, be well, sister. So, even though all I want was to leave the castle and go home, here I was leaving home to go right back to the castle. How funny, you wanted to go back home, but now you want to go back to the castle? Because you L-O-V-E him. Admit it. Jesus. I'm riding alongside Lord Nobuyuki in a... What the frick is that? pa Le Quinn, as we make our way to Yuta Castle, we're taking a steep mountain road to avoid going near the area surrounding Nakishino. I can hear the retainers escorting us from inside the Pla Pa, whatever that is. I heard the Oda clan sent out 30,000 soldiers and 3,000 guns. 30,000 Soldiers? Did I just say thirsty? <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> okay. 30,000? That's twice the number of the Takada men. More even. Twice the number of men? The more they talk about the battle the Takada army is facing, the more anxious I feel. Carefully, I pull back the curtain on my pilot queen and see smoke in the distance. The retainers look towards Nakashino, fear in their voices. Lord Yukimura, I stare out at the smoke until I feel a gentle hand on my shoulder. When I look over, there is Lord Nobuyuki with his gentle smile. He'll be fine. Yukimura is so stubborn. Even if death did take him, he'd send him right back. Lord Nobuyuki. Just like when he left the first time, it, the best we can do for him is wait and believe. I know. Taking a deep breath, I settle back into my seat again. Near Nakashino Castle, Makawa Province, the Takada army faced down the combined forces of o the Oda and Tokugawa, the smoke from their rifles filling the air. We have breached their defenses. Keep moving. Push through. Lord Yukimura commands his troops from horseback. Saizo too is there, appearing only to give a report. From the front, Lord Takada's forces are overtaking the rival's army for the time being. If we continue to progress, we should be able to secure victory with a few casualties. Yukimura, never forget that war is uncertain. Don't let down your guard. Well, this episode was not interesting. I was hoping interesting things would happen, but 
It was okay. It was all right. Stay, take care. Till next time, keep a place. Same here. I love that party. Bye.